According to an economics expert, President Biden's statement that the Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, bailout wouldn't cost taxpayers is contradictory to the fiscal reality. E.J. Antony, a research fellow in regional economics at the Heritage Foundation Center for Data Analysis, stated that the government is using taxpayer dollars to cover the FDIC's actions to protect customers affected by SVB's historic implosion, which by definition, costs taxpayers. Antony argued that the FDIC did not have enough funds to cover the losses, which resulted in the Federal Reserve establishing an emergency lending fund to backstop the operation. The funds for the bailout may come from either inflation or the FDIC obtaining the money from the Treasury. The FDIC may recoup its losses by increasing fees charged to all banks, which essentially shifts the pain onto taxpayers. Antony highlighted that the higher fees levied would impact banks that lent sensibly, while reckless institutions and wealthy depositors received bailouts. Antony stated that the situation was due to the federal government's three mistakes, including manipulating interest rates to artificially low levels, not raising rates quickly to normal levels, and bailing out wealthy depositors who did not buy private insurance on their deposits. The FDIC's losses will have to be recovered by fees on banks, and the money is all from fees on banks, according to the White House. Antony argued that the DIF, which funds the FDIC, has holdings in medium and long-term treasury securities, the same debt instrument as SVB, and the FDIC may have to sell some of its holdings at a loss to pay off depositors. The fees will have to go up more than anticipated to cover not only payments to uninsured depositors, but also the market-to-market -market losses from selling devalued assets.